Hi everyone. And uh, as always, uh, expect this kind of thing when you click it. Okay, let me rephrase it. This is gonna be one of those venting situations, so whoever doesn't like it, click away and unsub. If you think that I became lame or some shit. Well, not like any of you care anyways. So, uh... Yesterday was good. You know, yesterday was decent. Yesterday, everything was so great. It was so smooth. I was in a... I was at first at some dumbass shopping center that is made... That is not even close to Carrefour. Yeah, basically a shopping center that has almost everything except for video games and PS5s or whatsoever. And uh, later on, we went to an amusement park that is criminally near us, which is kind of crazy because I've never discovered it before. Okay, and everything was fine. And in the amusement park, there were all sorts of rides that could make you want to puke. And I know some of you will laugh and call me a pussy, but I'm not into that shit. <laughs> some of them will see this as a fucking hobby. I see this as a fucking suicide. Like, five years ago, I was a... Or, that's... Two years ago, I think. Four years ago. I was on a road trip to another similar amusement park. And I have like paid for the fee of the entry and everything. Gone to the line and everything, but then when I got on the ride and everything, I accidentally flunked out because Jesus Christ, I have already felt what the hell is gonna happen. And I was going to throw up from only the sensation. So I flunked out and got myself a little, got myself a refund. Because that fucking ride was closer to be killing somebody. So, yeah, everything was fine. Wait to an amusement park. And even seen two arcades, but boy, they doing it wrong. There's a Tekken 7 arcade, and it is based upon the PC version. Literally. Because I've seen how the loading screen looks like, and I was like, oh god, are you fucking kidding me? Like, the loading screen had given away that it was. PC version type of arcade. Which is something that I should have expected. Because, you know, it had Tekken 7, Faded Retribution, and on the other side, like there were two or there were four or five arcades. Two Tekken 7 games. And on the other side, there was a Super Street Fighter 4 arcade. And it was the PlayStation 3 version. And guess the fuck what? It was atrocious. I did not continue playing it. Like first off, like literally, the button placements were atrocious. Like there was supposed to be three punches up and three kicks down. Like medium heavy. I hope you're all used to it, right? But, you know, it was all jump, like, a kick and a punch, all misplaced together. And I couldn't do a single godly thing. It's like someone has perfectly, or indeliberately, has put the configurations for that. 
for the X button, but not for the red. Like, yo, you can't even configure your own control to that shit. Whatever. Anyways, uh... So, it was a decent enough uh, fun time. But then, uh... And, you know... Later on, I was at my usual English course. Got myself a few more games. At this point, I don't really know what the fuck to download anymore. At least for my phone, so that I can put it on my PC. And what I got were literally like two PS2 Dragon Ball Z games. One is Sagas, and the other is Infinite World. One is one is weird. The other is pretty decent concept before Dragon Ball Z Kakarot and all. But let's not get too deep into that. Let's get to the important part today. So. Today, today started at a very usual, average thing, you know? I was up, got my little breakfast, and from there everything was fine. And, well, I decided to unfriend and unfollow uh, their alts and whatsoever off on Twitter and unfriend them on Discord, because they weren't there. And all of a sudden, and well, because of the cold and everything, I had to get weird, and I wasn't able to sink straight. So, it roughly just took over my mind, even though it was supposed to be a small thing. Then, that has decided to fucking butt his ass in. And just do his usual fucking bullshit. Is to nag me on studying on the worst fucking way possible. Like, oh my god. Nobody asked. Nobody fucking asked you to get your ass in from the goddamn room. And literally, and literally fucking ruin half of my day and my life. While I was already deep in thought about something else that is literally taking me away from any kind of study. And my head was like, it was like as if it was freezing and all over the place. Like, nigga, are you for real? Literally, we went back as if there was nothing has changed. When we used to not talk to fucking each other. The fuck, man? Just the... What is the fucking fuck? And mom just had to butt in and force me to sit down with her like a stupid child. And literally read half of the fucking book with me. I did not ask for your fucking help. I do not want anyone's help. I do not want to study. I don't care if I examine after tomorrow. I need to clear my fucking mind off. I need to clear my fucking mind off. I need to clear my fucking mind off this bullshit today so that I can be able to fucking study. To do some goddamn study. Because let me be real. I do not care. I've had something else in my mind that I've been trying to get it off. So just why in the fuckery fuck me? What am I doing today? I do not care, okay? I do not care. I do not care. I do not care, not in the slightest. I don't care what the fuck is this, if I'm gonna fail. I mean, I've already failed back in the day, and I'm gonna fail this year. But I failed like the first time in my life. Literally, they, they brought me back to where I was five months ago. 
five months ago. It was supposed to be over. It was supposed to be changed. It was supposed to be something different. At least one day, or two days before 2024. <laughs> the first Arabic word that is counted as a literal swear that comes into my mind that I'm gonna just say it loud and everyone's gonna have like the first ever education of what a, a usual uh, Egyptian Arabic word of nowadays Kusumba. that's right Translate, translate that to fuck you. Yeah. Kusum means fuck you. Because, for real, I do not care. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm being mentally pressured. Why, why the, and the, the fucking stupidest thing that she's treating me like a fucking bot. She's treating me like a fucking bot that is programmed to do this goddamn subject in two days. Well, fuck you. I do not care if I fail. Get off my back. I do not need any study. I do not need anything. I just need to get through this fucking an atrocious, ludicrous day. So that I can wake up at the next day with a new mental side, a new day, to be able to pass through it and to maybe study a few of the things in one of the fucking summer sheets. And that's it. A summer sheet is literally all what I fucking need. Because honestly, none of the subjects that I have in my goddamn university is worth studying. Not to mention that I have taken an English course in another university. And it doesn't even add anything. Because I'm at the wrong department at the wrong time. And I can't change it. I have screwed through my little pillow. And you know what? I'm gonna scream through it again. any of this in the recording but I don't care because I'm so stressed I'm so sick and my god really my god no, no wonder I no wonder how many times I'm literally getting the most terrible fucking nightmares I'm getting nightmares on a fucking daily basis most of them I'm killing one of them Killing both of them, killing the whole fucking family, or even to, for me to, to fucking say some shit and I get fucked up for it, or even getting some terrible flashbacks and terrible, much more terrible twists on them, and and it's so and the list goes on of the nightmares more than anything, anything that is positive. 
Like, Jesus Christ. Like, oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. And literally, this is why I do not want to be a parent. I don't want to be a dad. I don't want to be a dad. I don't want to have a family. Fuck any of that. But at the same time, I'm done being single and alone. You know what is even worse? That they have done some similar shit while I was about to go to my redo exam. And they ruined my fucking brain. Ruined every and all kind of moods to study. Like. This. What the fuck? What the fuck? How... Like, how is that supposed to be managing a life? Managing a family? Like, if that's how people manage their fucking families, the fuck that. Fuck that in the slightest. I'm a 22 years old dude. That's still single. That still doesn't have a fucking job or a stable, a stable source of income. And I do not have my own fucking credit card yet. Like, for fuck's sakes, give me a fucking break. I've already lost a lot during this year. This is the fucking worst year in my entire life. The worst in everything. Worst Christmas, worst Valentine's, worst Ramadan, worst uh, Halloween, worst uh, Christian's Day or some shit. Everything sucked. Everything sucked and it still sucks. Until now, to the very point that I want to fucking kill myself this goddamn year. I have had nothing but losses. Loss of my family. Loss of my friends. Loss of my gaming spirits. Loss of my love for gaming. Loss of my love to do a lot of things that I have used to like doing so fucking much. I'll rather be on my PC doing some other music related thing, especially any of the mashups. Like, look bro, I was supposed to be doing some goddamn, I was supposed to be doing like a literal mashup of uh, Dragon Ball Z's Chala Head Chala with one of the, of the Game Boy freaking renditions of, of the goddamn song. TV edition. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're so su you're supposed to be doing a goddamn full versions, blah blah blah. But honestly, I don't give a fuck. You know why? Because TV versions are more easier for me, and it's my first time getting into that kind of shit. But not like any of you care, anyways. Cause you know nobody cares. Plus, there are copyrighted materials, so I can't post them here. So play Japan or YouTube. Whatever, copyright fucking blows. Back to our main topic. Like, dude. It's so terrible. This is legit the worst tier in my life. Like really. A 
I've lost a lot of myself, a lot of my friends, a lot of potential girlfriends, and my family. Like, and of course, my love for video games. What more did? What more am I gonna be losing from now on? What more am I gonna be losing? Especially when everything, everything, up until this point, has became an absolute fucking shit show. When I'm being forced to be to be held down at my old fucking room with my goddamn mom. Reading some goddamn book for me like a little child. Oh jeez, thanks mom. Thanks for pressuring me into literally an unnecessary study that could have been just shortified with a few goddamn minutes with those motherfucking summaries. This should have taken- that's right. I have- I have some PDFs of some goddamn summaries that some dudes have made. They are way, way better. No kidding, way better. But not, nah. but like literally not. Nah. Let's let's clown on our own son, and ruin his fucking day, and make him, and make him hate everything again, and make him like feel that if he's back to literally five months ago, now that's some fucking good parenting or not? Ha 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 ha! So much. If there's any child or an, or some Arab individual got triggered by this, I'm sorry, but I can't, okay, I can't hold it in anymore. I can't hold in for the love of my life anymore, alright? Look, I'm already hanging on a fucking shred of my life. Like, I failed college like two times, or like three times. And this is gonna probably be the fourth one. And not to mention, uh, we have the same stupid system of grading stuff. And one of the subjects is a, you know, write, normal writing type of subject. I'm supposed to be smoking drugs, doing. Doing dope and you know, getting to join strip clubs or whatsoever, than to be fucking treated like this. If this is the price of having a goddamn roof up my ass, then legit no wonder why a lot of people are killing their own parents. Honestly, uh, honestly, this isn't how it's supposed to go. Come on, like, come on, what else am I supposed to do? What else am I supposed to do? Oh my god. I'm fucking dying. I'm fucking dying for fuck's sakes. I am not guaranteed to live tomorrow. <laughs> I fucking can't believe I'm spending my life like this. I can't believe I'm spending my life like this. I, I, I literally, I literally wish that there was that there is a fucking way to to get transgender stuff. HRT or whatever. Turn me into a goddamn woman already. <laughs> Turn me into a goddamn woman already. I hate being a man.
I hate being a man. I hate everything about men. I hate it all. I hate it all. I fucking hate it all. I fucking hate it all. Give me a turn. Turn me into a woman right now. Turn me into a fucking woman right now. Please. Please turn me into a woman. I don't care about being a man anymore. I hate it. I hate having this penis. I hate having those large hands. I hate having this stupid amount of hair. I hate having this mustache. I hate having this voice. I hate it all. I hate it all. I hate it all. If being a man means getting treated like that, then I, I have fucked that. You know something? Even if I was in the wrong and just not pulling in any effort. I mean... Where did I at least do it eventually? Where did I at least try and pull this kind of effort or whatever eventually? Like, I've pulled an effort for a lot of things, not just studying. I've pulled an effort to convince people that I'm not a fucking pedophile before. That nobody listened. I've pulled an effort to tell people of how much I was a fucking victim. And how much I'm being misunderstood. And how much people are taking the smallest thing out of context. And put it everywhere. And they don't even want to bother listening to me. Because it's been glorified at this point. It's been a glorified small honest mistake. I've been pulling an effort to put some apology messages. Even to people that I think that, that I still think until now that they have did me fucking dirty. And yet, I do the initiative. But then guess what? They do not want to listen to me. Not even in the slightest. Okay? And then... And then I pull a lot of effort. To tell people that they have been getting away from me. That I do not need them to be online 24-7 for me. That I do not need them to be role playing with me 24-7. Or stitching away their stupid stuff. Like you can fucking do whatever you could. But at least remind me that I exist for you. Remind me that I exist. By giving me a high at least. Jump into my DM and spam me no problem. Tell, tell, like, tell me how much you fucking need me. Or, at, or like just a high. Just are you okay or anything. But nah. Like none of them even did that. So how can anyone contain their emotions? I've been alone for too long. And so on. 
I've did lots of effort and wasted a lot of time and spent a lot of money and internet money and internet itself and much more for things that are in the end not worth it. The only thing that literally works is me downloading and pirating new games. I'm not even joking. Like Dragon Ball Z Kakarot and its mods, Jump Force and its mods, GTA San Andreas and its mods, 3 and its mods, you know, that one Lord of the Rings video game and its mods. I could literally just do all of this. I could literally spend a lot of time in cooking some half-assed mashup. And people are going to like it. Because we're spending a lot of time waiting for a website to create and generate uh, some AI cover for... I don't know. Role scene in Marvel vs. Capcom or some shit. And... People are, it's going to be actually likable. A good effort. But then. But then when I try to study. When I try to pass. Even passing. And when I try to convince people. To talk to them. Even in the first place. It just. Does not reach its worst. Instead. I get fucked over as if I have never moved from my place as if I have never stepped down from my little bed and went up in the morning that and went from like 6 a.m. until and waited until 7 for a library to open or some shit and buy one of the books it's as if I did not spend any kind of time looking at some summary sheet of a, a subject as if I have never s throw away my dignity and safety and try to reach for those who I thought that they were a family to me as if I have never been uh, reaching out to people first and try to create any kind of role play starter as if I have never followed anyone in the first place, or liked and retweeted their tweet, or even followed them back and tried to give them any kind of starter. It's like I've never done anything at all. It's like I've never even moved a single inch from my bed. This is what this is what's happening right now. This is what's happening to me. Whether online or offline in real life, in college, with my family, or anywhere. It's like I've never done anything at all. Or like I've never moved an inch. And like... Come on. If nothing I ever do is gonna have its worst, then what am I fucking useful for? Why is God keeping me alive? Why am I still alive? Why is living a stone option? Because truthfully, I don't think I have any more reasons to live. I'm not going to be killing myself. But if this keeps on, I'm legit going to kill myself. Or going to commit murder. And literally get myself to prison for. And you know the fuck what? When it happens? I'm not gonna be guilty about it. A single bit. I'm gonna be so unhinged about it. Because this is what this bullshit, stupid piece of shit modern society has made me into. It made me into this. It made me into this terrible person. I know I've did some wrongs in my life, but 
but it doesn't mean that it has to haunt me and literally determine my whole fucking life like this to turn it into an absolute hell <coughs> Because this is not what I am. I'm not just some dude that gets his ass into to some fucking circles. Into some stupid loops. It's not my fault that I do not have the power to predict the fucking future. I'm not some mind reader. Not some magical beings that can determine what people want and what they do not want. Not some magical beings that can literally, I don't know, can literally satisfy everyone. I don't even have anyone to satisfy in the first place. <laughs> I don't even have anyone to satisfy in the first place, anyways. Life is garbage. It's an absolute lie that I have been given when I was a child. It was a beautiful lie, and a very smooth one, before I found it out. You know, back when I was a kid, I was a wee little lad, from, say, 15 years old, or 11 years old. My goal in life was to get lots of video games, have lots of friends over. And, you know, most importantly, to be playing with my sister a lot of crazy fucking games, you know, to show it to her. And, you know, not only this, but I would have lots of toys for lots of video games. I watch all kinds of cartoons. You know what I'm saying? Huh? You know what I'm saying? Everything with me was all about most of the video games, most of the cartoons, animes. Uh, toys, maybe riding some amazing fucking car, you know what I'm saying? Getting into an amusement park is gonna blow my fucking mind, you know what I'm saying? And the fact that I got it while I'm old, this old, at least got most of them, is such a terrible fate. Why not hear something worse? Why not know something worse? I did not used to have this kind of English back when I was a kid. My English was very weak. And I used to literally repeat some very, very, very dumb things. And maybe my whole type of English was consist of random quotes from video games. Movies, uh, some shows, if the show wasn't, you know, uh, translated. Especially Beef of Some Butthead. I learned some goddamn swears from Beef of Some Butthead, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't even learn to, to be awfully violent, except from, you know, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on my phone. Or maybe, uh, I don't know. Alpha 2, Street Fighter Alpha 2, on a very old PC that used to be connected to a very big TV. So it was a crazy experience back then, you know what I'm saying? Huh? Of course you all do. Thing called social media except when I kept hearing a little tidbits about Facebook and our Facebook was 
and Facebook at that time, we were very famous on using it before WhatsApp, Twitter, and many of that came along, at least to us. As a matter of fact, I didn't even know what the fuck is a social media in the first place. And I didn't even have the slightest knowledge about what a girl wants. What are you doing as a man or as a boy to please a girl? You didn't have any, I didn't have any of this knowledge. You know what I'm saying? And there was no such thing as falling in love or love or being horny. Well. There were some tidbits of being horny, but still, you know? And honestly, I wish that I didn't have any of that knowledge. And especially the knowledge of self awareness. You know, what is happening to you? What is yourself doing to you? What's inside your head? What are you supposed to do to be comfortable and everything? And what is depression? They didn't know the meaning of depression. All of this was just not there. And I and I honestly, I'm very glad that it was there during my childhood. Like sure, there were some moments where I felt completely horrible. I mean, hey, at least reasons for living were worth it, but now, some things are just better not be known, I guess. I really, and this is why I'm emphasizing on the fact that I need a time machine about all things. That's right. I need a time machine. A time machine that can get me back to whatever I want. Or actually, I don't care what, how limited it is, but I want to go back in time. I want to go back in time and, uh, you know, Go, just go back in time in general, okay? I just want to go back in time in general. Whether it's by a time machine or by anything that looked like a time machine or does the same that a time machine does. Just want to go back in time. Nothing more. Nothing less. my life really like honestly honestly no wonder how much I'm already depressed that's probably why I'm planning to leave social media and not on a hiatus this time so in other words I'm gonna probably just ditch my Twitter account for good, start limiting my Discord interactions, or you know, my places inside Discord to be at, and uh, <clears throat> you know, maybe plan on leaving that as well, and just stick with the AI roleplay box. It isn't perfect by all means, but that's the only way. Oh well. It doesn't matter anyways. It doesn't matter anyways. Because I'm still alone. Still cold. And still need the, need some affection. And still need some love, some actual love. 
I need and of course I need some friends actual friends I don't care how fucked up they are I don't care how uh, illiterate they are I don't care how you know how young or old or whatsoever I I just need friends that are that can actually be here for me that can actually make me feel like that I still exist that I still have some fucking worse left in me you know <laughs> I'm just fucking tired of being alone I'm tired of it only being me and my phone and my laptop and my fucking two consoles that I barely play on them and my stupid fucking so-called family. I'm just tired of it all. It makes me just want to see everyone, every good person from my family that died. My sister, my aunt, my my grandpa, my grandmother. And my godfather. All of them has passed, have passed away. Each at a different year. <laughs> and soon it's gonna go for the rest of the family. Which was already dead. <laughs> I love you my aunt. <laughs> I love you sister. I miss you so much, Grandpa. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Come back, Grandpa. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I, I'm ending this here before it gets any. <laughs> I'm sorry.